speaking, Hickson, being, being that I have you in front of me, I've always wanted to know this because a second ago you were talking about real life with, you know, not real life martial arts. And quite often in America, there are these martial artists like Steven Seagal. Have you heard of Steven Seagal? Of course. A good friend. I, yeah, I mean, what, what do you think? I mean, quite often he's saying like George St. Pierre is a is an athlete, but he's not a real martial artist. What do you think of a guy like Steven Seagal? Is he a real martial artist? I mean, definitely he has. I mean, based on his training, based on his understanding, he has a deep understanding of the concepts. How good he is in real life situations, how he will display his effectiveness, I'm not sure. Through the movies, he's amazing. And his philosophy is also, is also based on, on, on proving realities, you know. He believes in technique, he believes in, in, in the concepts within martial arts, like Bruce Lee. I cannot say Bruce Lee is 100% legit. But everything he says has a profound, I mean, profound, deep sense of truth. So uh, I'm not here to deny the, 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 the sayings of a guys like Seagal or Bruce Lee or many others. I'm not sure if they were able to prove all this personally on the mat because, you know, that's a different matter. But I think they, they, they correctly approach the understanding of martial arts in a, in a very proper, you know, uh, way because, you know, all the elements within martial arts, they are to develop the human being, they are to give more sharpness, more sense of, of, of you know, empowerment and capacity to counter and be effective and be, you know, lethal if you need it. So I think those elements are, are very important for all of us. So you think Steven Seagal is a legit martial artist? He's a legit tough guy? Definitely he's a tough guy because, I mean, I believe he has honor, he has, you know, I mean, anyone, like, I believe you a tough guy because, you know, it's not about what you do, it's how you think. What makes you tough is the way your mindset is. And, and I believe anyone can be tough. Mm -hmm. How good, how effective he is. I never saw a professional fight of him, I just saw the movies, like I said. So I'm not here able to judge his effectiveness. I'm really agree with things he say in most of most of the time okay well that's interesting because some people yeah. mock him in the martial arts world like boss root and said this guy's a joke gene labelle other people say no he's the real deal he studied in aikido so i, I wanted to get your thoughts on it oh gene labelle put him to sleep in a set that's what i heard in a, in a movie set gene labelle put him to sleep i mean boss root is a guy who's been proving he's the tough guy in you know, on the on the on the ring, you know, on the cage, he's tough, he knows, he's proving himself, fighting forever, so he's able to challenge guy and sell him. I mean, I'm here not putting myself in a position to be affected by what I have to say or whatever, I mean, it's not the point if I'm able to fight or if he's able to resist a tough, that's too much, you know, gossip and, I mean, the guy never tried to prove himself on the cage, why he should do now or why he should prove his stuff. He, everything he say has a good sense, so I, for me it's a, it's a point where I stop my, my question. <laughs> no, and I hear you, and I'm not trying to get you guys into an argument, it's just that sometimes you know, he's in the UFC, he taught Anderson Silva, supposedly a kick, but then he'll say that the UFC athletes are just athletes, they're not the real deal like me. So I'm always wondering, I said, let me speak to the ultimate tough guy, see what he thinks. So I just wanted to get your thoughts on that. Um, now, Hickson, just winding down that, that endeavor, the, um, the Jiu-Jitsu Global Federation will definitely look out for that. And before we leave, I mean, um, I've always wanted to know, what are some of your hobbies outside of MMA? What, what does Hickson Gracie do for fun? Who tell you? MMA is my hobby. You kidding me? <laughs> it's a huge, it's a, it's a kind of, you know, it's a sacrifice. It's always like being something very serious, like a, a ultimate challenge. So it cannot be that might take as a hobby. It's a commitment, you know. It's, I love it to do. I love the sacrifice. And the, but martial arts is, is, is much more for me than a hobby, you know. Hobby for me is the surf. Hobby for me is like snowboarding, is, uh, you know, Ping pong, shooting, driving, those things I love to do as like a, you know, to fulfill my sportive hobby, uh, fun thing, 
You know, martial artists for me is just 100% professional. Is always thinking about representing, put a good name there, and, and make sure that people understand the purpose of jiu-jitsu and how soft, how effective, and how positive it is for anyone. Well, Hickson, thank you so much for your time. Uh, My pleasure, David. Having access to a legend like you, again, to me, this is like uh, having access to like Bruce Lee. And okay. um, it's great to um, hopefully we'll see you out in the media more talking about jujitsu because you're such a great ambassador. Yeah, thank you, man. And I feel like it was a great moment for me to get in this venture because, you know, my body cannot handle that much seminars anymore. It's like I'm starting to get tired physically and, and become like a reference for a, a, a redirect jujitsu. It becomes a very motivational thing for me for my next challenge, you know, and and I will put a lot of time and effort to, to make people understand how, how much they lose if we allow Jiu-Jitsu to go in that direction without rethinking and redirecting. So I'm very motivated and very excited about the future. Thank, Thank you, you Hickson. Much. And we'll speak soon. Okay, bro. Ciao. Thank God you. bless.